So the melodic section um, only occurs during the introductory notes that Bruno sings and uh, during the chorus. So let's play the melody first and then we'll add in the uh, bass pattern. Okay, so that's the, uh, the melody section, and as I said, you can play that uh, pretty much at any time or any point in the song uh, as your own personal style and flavor. Uh, but uh, for the actual track itself, that is going to be played during the chorus and during the first opening bars of the song that you hear, uh, where Bruno kicks in and starts singing. And, um, with the left hand pattern added, it'll make a lot more sense from a chord standpoint of what you're playing. So essentially when we play the melody, the first part of the melody, you're going to repeat the uh, B, B, C, F. Uh, you're going to, have to play B flat, C, B flat, F. You're going to play that sequence twice. I'm sorry, three times. We'll play that sequence three, three times. And after you play the uh, third time, you're going to simply walk down from uh, F, D, C, B flat, C. So you're not really leaving the scope of this uh, B flat. Uh, sus2 chord, essentially. And nothing on you is simply going to be a walk-up of D minor, uh, again, uh, D minor sus4. which is D, F, G, A. Nothing on you. Sorry, I can't sing very well, but essentially it's D, F, G, A, and then back to F. And then the crescendo is simply B flat, A, G, A, G, and then to F. One more time. B flat, A, G, A, F. Now if you want to do G or F, that's up to you. Uh, it gives it more a uh, dissonant chord when you play the D minor in the left hand. But for, for starters, we'll just get, uh, we'll get acclimated with the simple D minor, or um, I apologize. F major at the end of the uh, chorus and introduction. So one more time from the top, we play the three chord, uh, three melodic hooks or cadences or sequences. One, two, three. Okay, so going back to that. Walk down. One more time.
Okay. That's it for the right hand melody. Now we're going to switch over to the left hand patterns and what we do to combine both the melody and the chords in the left hand. So now we're going to combine both hands, both the right hand melody and the left hand chords. And that's pretty much it for the melodic and bass pattern combination. So let's break it down. So each melody that I'm playing in the right hand is going to have a chord change on top of uh, beneath it. Which makes this song uh, fairly straightforward. So what we learned earlier, let's rewind. We learned in the right hand we're playing B flat C, B flat to F. That's our first pattern. We'll play that again. Walk down. And nothing on you. Then, uh, again, you're going to have the suspended fourth in the right hand with the D minor chord. And then the walk up of B flat, A, G, A, and then F. Oh, the walk down, I should say. And that's what you have in the right hand combination. And the left hand is going to have the follow up with those chords. So, what I mean by that is going to be a switch on each uh, melodic uh, phrase E flat. C minor D minor F major and then F major final one more time once we hit that F in the right hand, remember what I said about that ninth chord? Or are you going to be playing it now? Uh, at least on the chorus in the uh, introductory chords, that's where you'll be playing it. But essentially, each time I hit an F, I'm doing a, a, key, a chord change in the left hand. and then an F again. Ultimately you're going to be resolving a lot of F changes in the right hand. Okay, so in the, like, like as I mentioned earlier, each time there's a chord change or a turnaround, you're essentially in the right hand always going to have that, that home tone of, the, of an F 
note uh, to resolve and do the uh, core change in the left hand. Uh, broken down very simply, um, essentially uh, the F note dictates much of the pace of a song. Key change or chord change. Chord change. Chord change. Back to the original melody. Okay, and that's it for the chorus and the introductory notes. And now we'll go to the verse section and tie it all up. So combining everything together, we're going to have the four chord progression follow us, whether we do the verse section, chorus, introduction, or really any other part of the song that's going to have the same chord combination. So let's break down the, uh, let's go over the verse very briefly. F E flat major. E flat major 9. C minor 11th. D minor 7. F major root. E flat, C minor, D, F major. So from the top, we're going to add in now the introduction. So you can play it any way that you want. The chords are very, very uh, easy to get, and uh, this is more geared towards a piano solo.